She was only 15. The pain was unbearable. He was in. Blood on the sheet. She couldn't hear her heartbeat. She knew he didn't care. A deadbeat. But she had given in in order to fit in. She didn't want to be there, but compromise had brought her there, making her forget prayer. She listened to the wrong voice. After all, she had the choice, right? But all she can hear now is noise. What happened to the small voice? Watching the wrong things, wearing the wrong things, drawing the wrong things i.e. the type of man who only wants you for what you've got, making you an item to be bought. She listened to sweet nothings. She didn't think they would bring her numbing. But everyone was doing it, so she felt her worth could only come from it. She'd forgotten about the misfits, those old-time literates who found their worth at his feet. You see, she had insecurities, which made her lose her purity by breaking away from the unity. Father, spirit, son, her source of security. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord would be praised greatly. But she got distracted, changing whom she trusted. Her mind became corrupted due to the things that she lusted. She never really got busted, but she knew he was watching, every day calling, every day crying, you were made for better. Every day calling, every day crying, you were made for better. Have you not read my love letter? You are my treasure. I gave up everything for your pleasure, chastised, wounded by the aggressor, but I never gave up, for you are my treasure. Your value and worth is in me. Just go on your knee, there is no fee. You are free if you choose me. Getting up from my knees, I was set free. Never to flee from my king. Are you tired of your flings? Tired of the devil's sting? There is a new spring. Isaiah 43, a new thing. He wants to make you clean over you all night to sing. For you are his queen, sealed with his ring, his spirit.